जय हिंद माय डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर इन द लेक्चर थ्री ऑफ अर्थमेटिक लॉजिक डिजाइन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द कंसेप्ट ऑफ रिस्टोरिंग एंड नॉन रिस्टोरिंग डिविजन्स बिफोर दिस स्टूडेंट मस्ट बी फेमिलियर विद द कंसेप्ट ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन दैट वी हैव डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स सो इन द सेम लाइन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डिविजन सो लेट स्टार्ट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डिविजन the division that we will perform is basically uh, under the category of unsigned division that the, the number is not in signed notation so the number is in uh, unsigned notation so no negative notion is there that will be used for division the reason is simple that uh, in division we are not uh, very much concerned about the sign of the dividend and divisor we are basically uh, interested in the uh, remainder and the question so division is comparatively more tedious than the multiplication process and as we know the multiplication process involves uh, addition similarly uh, the division process involve subtraction so let's start so unsigned division number system can be implemented using first method that is called as restoring division and the second method that is non restoring division we must understand there is a attribute of both algorithm and it is mentioned here that the restoring division is a slow process and the non restoring division is a fast process that can be easily explained with this diagram uh, consider a number Uh, any number here particular 29 and 29 is being divided by 3 so what we usually do we perform subtraction like this that is 29 minus 3 then what will be the remainder then it is written 26 then again we subtract 3 and so on. this process is repeated until unless the remainder is less than 0 okay but is it a correct way to do no best way is to do a subtract some multiple of 3 so what should be the multiple of 3 it will be the a factor which must be a number which is denoted by base to the power okay uh, the position of the number that is we are going to divide and also we have to multiply with a uh, symbol that is belonging to a particular number system say for example we have a decimal number system so numbers will be 1 2 0.0.9 dot, and in case this is a binary number system in that case uh, we will use this symbol as 0 and 1 only so uh, for the sake of understanding we are representing it in decimal form okay so uh, let's have a some powers that will be multiplied with this base so here base particularly uh, we may assume okay uh, the base of okay so what base we can assume we can assume base to power 4 okay and we can have symbol for this uh, since it is a binary base is 2 the symbol will be 0 and 1 so it will be either 0 and 1 so what are the possible combination 3 into uh, 2 raised to power 4 okay so that will be uh, basically uh, 48 so similarly we can have 3 into 2 to the power Three that will be resulting into twenty-four, uh, and then we have three into two to the power two that will result into twelve, and three into two to the power one that will result into six, and finally three into two to the power zero that will result into three. So. out of these 
which number I will subtract from 29. Certainly, what will happen if I subtract 48, you will have a negative reminder. Clear? And if we subtract 24, we will get a positive reminder. So, where should I start? I start from this 48 or where I should start from 24. That is explained in the next slide with this example. So, in this example, we can see okay, the restoring division. So, the example is basically written in decimal form, but it, it is showing a binary division example. So, you can see here, uh, let us have an expression like there is a uh, reminder i plus 1 okay, and it will be subtracted with the, uh, the digit q i into the divisor into 2 raised to power the ith uh, place value of the divisor. Okay. So, it will result into some reminder that is r i. So, it is something like that we are subtracting 29 minus okay. here we are taking the q i value is equals to you know, uh, 1 and d value as a 3 and the base value 2 raised to power 4. So, certainly that will result into 29 minus okay, that is 48 and that will result into minus 90. Okay, minus 90. So, I in this algorithm we have started with 2 raised to power 4. Why? Because if we represent this 29 into binary okay 29 it is in decimal number system and if you convert into binary it will be triple 101 one, okay in base 2 so how many bits are there you can see there are 1 2 3 4 and 5 bits okay and if you see the base value okay uh, uh, the position values of base so this will be a 2 raised to power 0, 2 raised to power 1, 2 raised to power 2, 2 raised to power 3 and 2 raised to power 4. So, you can see what is the maximum we can start with division algorithm, we can start with 2 raised to power 4. Okay. So, 29 is divided uh, by 3 by <coughs> a factor that is 2 raised to power 4 into 3 and the uh, symbol that will be used is 1 times. Okay, so that will result into a uh, 48. Clear? So in this particular example, the first we have subtracted 29 with uh, 3 times 2 raised to power 4. Okay, and that is resulting into minus 90. So what it indicates that the Q4 value is initially set as 1 is resulting into a negative result. Clear? So what should we do? We should come back to the same position and that is called as restore the position. So, we have to add 19 again to the result. So, we are adding the 19 back to the same result and it will give the 29. Okay. So, initially Q4 4 was chosen as 1. Now, we have set Q4 as is equals to 0 because at this position the reminder is negative. Certainly, now you will choose Q3 value is equals to 1 okay, and you will multiply that uh, factor with 3 into 2 raised to power 3. Okay. So, at this point you will find that uh, 29 minus uh, uh, 2 raised to power 3, 8 into 3, 24 that will result into a positive reminder. So, there is no need to restore. Okay, so, we have plus 5 as a the reminder ri, clear. So, certainly what we will have we have to do again we have to apply the subtraction rule 3 into uh, 2 raised to power 2. Now, at this point when q is equals to q2 is equals to 1, it will again result into negative value, correct. So, we have to do again a restore. So, we have to add the value my, uh, this. Uh, minus 7 to this 
and it will again come to the 5. So, you can see from the graphical representation here particularly that first 29 was subtracted with uh, 48 and we got a minus 90 and it has been restored back to 29. Okay. And after that, we subtracted 24 and we reached to 5, that is a positive value. So, we uh, again chosen the for q0 is equals to 1 and subtracted the uh, uh, number uh, and we got a negative value that is minus 7. Okay. So, uh, 3 into 2 raised to power 2, that is 12, we have subtracted. So, 5 minus 12, we get this 7. Okay. So, we have to again restore back here. Okay. After that, we then uh, take the value of q 1 is equals to 1 and perform 3 into 2 raised to power 1 and that will result into negative value. So, if it is a negative minus 1, we have to again add back and that will be 5. Okay. And finally, uh, we, we will subtract from 5 the 3 factor 2 raised to power 0. So, that will result into a reminder which is g to, uh, positive and which is less than 3. So, this condition will be checked whether the reminder is less than 3 or more than 3. So, it is less than 3. So, our division is complete. So, this example, okay. So, uh, we perform paper and pencil approach method of division like this and to improve that performance, we have seen that we can improve that performance by choosing a method divisor into the most significant digit out of the symbols available into 10 raised to uh, base raised to power the uh, uh, the MSD position that is C. So, by this we are doing division in uh, uh, decimal number system with example of paper and pencil approach, but the factor of divisor is calculated. So, this will speed up the process. So, why this restoring algorithm is slow? We came to know that restoring algorithm is slow because every time we get a negative reminder, we restore it back what we have subtracted and add back to the same position. Okay. So, every time we get a negative, we have to go back to the actual restoring position. Whenever we get negative, we have to go back to the actual position from where we get the negative. So, you can see we are getting a number of steps is uh, in this process is uh, almost 2 n cycles, almost 2 n cycles. So, it is obvious that for n bits, okay, we may need as many as 2 n cycles to select all questions digit, okay, because uh, first we set q value to a particular level like for 1 or 0 for binary and it may be uh, any symbol from 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 9 for decimal. So, we select some question digit. Okay. When we select question digit, so we may be uh, uh, having that uh, question digit correct or uh, if it is correct, we get the reminder as a positive and if we have a question digit not correct, we get uh, the reminder as a negative. So, certainly you will have to perform for each step at max uh, during the division of restoring division 2 n cycles for the division. So, uh, there are n cycles for trial subtraction, okay. that is a trial subtraction, we are judging the, whether the result is negative or positive and there may be a additional n cycles for the distribution. Okay. So, n for trial plus n steps cycles for distribution. So, 2 n cycle steps will be consumed in uh, restoring division. That is why it is slow algorithm. So, this question is asked in examination many times. Uh, why restoring algorithm is slow? So, from this example, we can easily understand that in the restoration approach, we again uh, go back to the positive value by uh, <coughs> subtract after subtraction, 
if the result remainder is negative okay so uh, the rule is we use uh, y as a dividend q as a quotient all quotient bits will be used here okay the there will be a final reminder and there is a divisor so we have following relationship that uh, the dividend is equals to okay q times the divisor plus some reminder value that is final reminder so we can finally uh, write down or break down this q in terms of the value of quotients that are possible so you can see the q4 is multiplied by 2 raised to power 4 q3 is multiplied by 2 raised to power 3 q2 is multiplied by 2 raised to power 2 q1 is multiplied by 2 raised to power 1 and q0 is multiplied by 2 raised to power 0 and this particular value q4 q3 q2 q1 and q0 that is questions at a particular position may be either 0 okay 1 0 0 and 1 okay so that will result into 9 okay so you will have the value of q is equals to 9 so that will finally come out to be 9 so 9 into 3 and finally plus the reminder 2 so 9 into 327 plus 2 is your final dividend so <coughs> with this rule we can easily say we have to basically find we have to basically find these q values q4 q3 q2 q1 and q0 depending upon if it is a decimal number system uh, we will be having range of 0 1 2 dot 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 9 and for binary number system it will be only 0 and 1 okay so what is the hardware requirement to do the restoring division certainly this process will be done in a hardware okay so uh, the strategy that we will use is strategy for unsigned division is shift the dividend shift the dividend one bit at a time starting from the most significant into the register okay and subtract the divisor from this register okay so you should notice important fact that when we are doing multiplication okay what is the approach that we are following in a register a and in register q we were shifting right okay that is multiple now in case of division what we are doing we are shifting uh, the bit to the left we are shifting bit to the left so the, uh, the a and q content will be shifted towards left okay so if the result after subtraction is negative okay it means that our result is not for good for the division so what we have to do we have to again add the divisor back to the register and record zero into the result register so what we are doing whenever we are getting negative result we will say that the the quotient bit is zero and whenever we get that is positive okay so in that case the quotient bit is so the result is positive do not restore and uh, intermediate uh, uh, that, that, that will give an intermediate result and set one to the result of the register in the question so restoring term is due to the fact that the value of register a is restored after each iteration okay so we are basically restoring this component of a after each iteration so this is the hardware so there is uh, how many registers used there is a register a its size is n bit and one additional bit uh, that is a n so it is a basically a n plus 1 bit register so that's why we are using n plus 1 bit adder here 
okay there is a divisor okay that is is also having a uh, m n bits okay from here to here and an additional uh, one bit zero and there is a dividend which is stored uh, uh, here okay and that will also store the final quotient value uh, when the result is finally stored so what is happening set the register a to zero so what is the content of register a initially it is initially all zeros okay then load the dividend in two so here initially we will store the dividend okay in the queue and the divisor is loaded into m so divisor is loaded here in the m register okay now this algorithm will repeat n times so we have to do the shift a and q both together that is these two together will be shifted left okay by one bit then after that m is subtracted from a so uh, this m will go to the n bit n plus 1 bit adder and it will subtract from the a and certainly you are familiar with the subtraction operation is performed by a uh, uh, complement approach of uh, subtraction so a minus m cannot be performed so we will perform a plus m bar plus 1 so m bar plus 1 is basically 2s complement okay of m and subtracting a minus m is as good as adding a with uh, the 2s complement of m clear uh, place the result again back to the a so after subtraction the result will go back and is stored here okay if sign of a is 1 set q to 0 so what is happening we have to see the sign here okay this position will have two possibilities 1 and 0 so what one will indicate one will indicate that the result is negative and 0 indicates the result is positive so when the a n value is 1 the after subtraction the result is negative means the <coughs> remainder is uh, having negative value so we are subtracting more from the <coughs> uh, the value of dividend okay so we have to do certain thing we will send a signal from this to the control sequencer and control sequencer finds out that since it is a 1 so we are getting a negative uh, reminder so the q0 value here will be updated initially 0 okay after next iteration say for example this value comes to be 0 so what does it mean after subtracting a with the divisor we are getting a positive value if you are getting positive value so what will happen it will be reflected as a and bit will be reflected as 0 so what it indicates that yeah we are able to divide the number by particular factor of divisor with some certain quotient value certainly this is a binary number so what will happen the quotient will be 1 okay so initially 0 goes later again might be possible the result is negative okay so 0 comes then again uh, if positive result is there then 1 and finally so this will move here inside and finally this particular dividend register q will <coughs> be holding the uh, quotient will be in the register q and whatever is not subtracted will be here in the remainder okay so uh, a, a bigger diagram uh, so uh, we should note that this is a n plus 1 bit adder not a n bit adder okay so accumulator is a n plus 1 bit accumulator okay Quash dividend is n bit okay the divisor is having a uh, n bits okay and the <laughs> initially the dividend is stored here and it is moved left shift one by one so as dividend moves here the the place value of dividend increases and this will go to the adder 
and we subtract from this accumulator the m and subtraction is done through adder the approach that is used is that we use 2 as complement so in for doing subtraction we use m bar plus 1 for subtraction okay so uh, when we are going to subtract and whenever you are going to restore we will add simply plus okay and after subtraction we get the result here st stored back here and this a and bit will reflect whether the result is positive or negative this negative value will indicate control logic that what to be stored if it is a negative the control logic will be set as 0 and if it is uh, 0 the control logic will be set in this q01 and that will push the results into the <coughs> dividend register q and finally you will get the question here so let's have a flow chart uh, uh, for this algorithm initially we set a is equals to 0 we put m as a uh, divisor q as a dividend and initially set count as n. So, as soon as we move into the algorithm, we first perform the shift operation lap to register A and Q together. Okay, the data will move like this, and finally, after this, we will perform A minus M and the data will be stored in the A itself. And after that, there will be the uh, reflection uh, to judge the value of A. If it is less than 0, what it indicates? It indicates that yes, it is less than 0. It means that the reminder is there and it is negative. Okay. So, if it is a negative less than 0, what we will set? We will set Q0 as 0. Clear? After that, since the reminder is negative, we have to restore it back. So, this operation A is set as A plus M. This is a restoring operation. So, many times it is it is asked in this flow chart indicate where the restoring is done. So, at this position restoring is done and if A is not less than 0 that is it is a positive. So, it means that reminder is uh, positive. So, we will set Q0 is equals to 1 means it is able to divide it. Okay. And in both cases, we will set the counter from counter is equals to less than 1. If counter is 0, then we will end the algorithm and set and when it is not, we will go back and shift the operation again. So, this is one example. Uh, students, you can perform this example by your own. Example is exemplified with a simple uh, values. Initially, uh, the Q is set as 0, triple 1 m is 0 double 1 we have taken m bar plus 1 as 1 double double 1 0 1 initial accumulator a value is set as 0 counter value is set as 4 so first we perform shift left operation okay so when you perform shift left operation this bit will go here this bit go here this will bit go here and this bit will go here and certainly after shift operation we have to perform the subtraction a is equals to a minus b so students what we will subtract we will subtract m and then m cannot be subtracted. So, what we will do? We will add m bar plus 1. So, what is m bar plus 1? That is 1 1 0 1. So, after adding we found that this e n bit is equals to 1. What it indicates? Yes, the result is negative. The result is negative. What should we do? We have to add the, the <coughs> m again. So, we are adding double 0 1 1 here okay. and we are restoring back to the same position. Okay. But important thing that you note that the q value is shifted okay its weight is increased okay so at this point the first loop is completed we will subtract the uh, counter from 4 to 3 and we found that the counter is not still zero so we will again go back to the top of the algorithm and shift left and repeat the same process and you will find certainly after some time shift operation there will be no restoration initially there is a restoration there is a restoration and here no restoration and here also here a restoration is there okay so one restoration two restoration one non restoration and another restoration so you have to have a many practice examples here that is given uh, and you can note down and solve by your own and 
example 3. So, dear students, uh, this uh, particular division algorithm of restoring will be understandable only when we do practice of the problem with the help of flowchart. In the next lecture, we will be discussing the non restoring division that is bit complex, but it is a fast algorithm. Jain, my dear students, and we will meet in the next lecture. Thank you very much.